but within a year he'd taken West Ham back to Wembley for the final of the European Cup Winners' Cup against 1860 Munich of West Germany. And that was to prove a very special night. Germans in thousands leaven the mass of West Ham supporters as the big game began. The Hammers kicking off. Every Londoner in the 100,000 crowd remembered manager Ron Greenwood's words. Getting to Wembley is nothing. The thing is to win there. Brave words. And 11 determined players began on the attack. Munich in white easily survived the early onslaught and went into the attack themselves. Back came the hammers. A pass found inside left ear, but he was offside. A West Ham corner here, and a poor clearance gave them a second chance. Munich were rescued from danger by their star goalkeeper, Radenkovic. Neither side had scored at the interval. The visitors kicked off on the resumption and soon showed something of the skill that's brought them fame on the continent. Safe as a rock, Jim Standen was a tower of strength all through the match. West Ham played better and better as the game went on. Another attempt now by Brian Deer, not quite on target. A splendid chance now for West Ham. The ball went to Seeley. And he punched it home. No goal, of course. Now Munich took up the running, but without any luck. Long deferred reward came to the Hammers after 68 minutes. A pass from Boyce went to Seeley. This time it really was a goal. Deer was fouled by the goalkeeper. That meant a free kick for West Ham. Bobby Moore placed the kick well. And Seely scored again. <laughs> West Ham was still attacking when the whistle went for full time. What a night for West Ham as Bobby Moore received the trophy from the president of the European Union of Football Association. The whole country is proud of the Hammers, winners of the European Cup Winners' Cup. Fine.